welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for Supernatural Pan Interrupted. This is a project that I created many, many years ago back in 2018. It started on August 19th of 2018 and there is no end date. It is basically whenever you get done. I am attempting to pan a product for every single episode of Supernatural that has ever aired, all 15 seasons, and... It's going to take a long, long time. Like I said, been doing this since 2018 and I'm only on season six and I still have some of season five that I'm still working on. So it's going to take a while. Not every product that I'm panning is to completion. Some things I'm attempting to hit pan on or I have usage goals, that kind of stuff because um, I want to be able to keep it going. I do not update this every single month because some months I just don't have enough progress to show you and sometimes I can't fit it in my schedule. I kind of juggle and um, just update projects when I actually have time or if there is something worth updating. This month, I actually have stuff worth updating and obviously I had the time to fit it in my schedule. I am going to be going through the episodes in order and my rollouts are wherever my rollouts are. And it just so happens that the first two episodes that I'm going to talk about that have been here the longest are my rollouts. So I'm very excited about that. The first one is Dark Side of the Moon. And I brought in Look See Howl at the Moon. And I just wanted to hit pan and I threw it, but it is okay. <laughs> I didn't throw it. It just, it slid out of my hands. But it is done. I have hit the pan that I wanted. And it's quite a bit of pan there. This shade is gorgeous. I love this. I'm going to miss it. So I think I'm going to have to look in my mustache and see if I can find something else in my looksies that I can bring out to play with. Not necessarily in this project, but in a project soon. And for the episode of The Devil You Know, I had chosen the Wet n Wild eyeliner in the shade Turquoise. And I just wanted to use this five times. I did use it five times. I had do not have it on today even though I'm wearing this color because I had already hit my goals and I had it like off in my my done bin over here for things that I met goal on so yeah I'm very excited that I got five uses on that it is not something I'm going to use regularly which is why I will pop it into projects periodically just for some usage so that it doesn't sit and I can you know make sure those types of products that I don't use frequently do get a little bit of love and I can also make sure that they haven't gone bad. Okay, on to the next episode and that is Two Minutes to Midnight. And I chose the Glam Light Pizza Palette. Sorry about the reflection on that one. And I am working on the shade Garlic. I am attempting to finish that. I think I've only used this once or twice since the last update because I am working on other matte cream shades and I'm trying to complete them in other projects and the progress was there and I just, I don't know, I'm still working on that one. I will try to switch them off, but once that other one is done, I think garlic is going to get quite a workout and then it will be done quickly once I can start using it on the regular again. Next episode just happens to be the last episode of season five is Swan Song and I chose the Lubriderm Skin Renewal Firming body lotion and my goal is to finish this one. I think I've only used it once. It wasn't even enough to make a line so you know no big deal. I'm working on a bunch of lotions and I'm hoping that that one is going to be my next priority. I just finished one in another project. I have to look and see which other lotions I do have in projects to see which one I'm going to tackle next. But I feel like this Lubriderm one is going to be high on that list so be on the lookout for some good progress by the next update. The next episode is Exile on Main Street, and I chose the ColourPop Secret Life of Scorpio palette, and I chose the shade Mystery, which is this shade right here. I just wanted to use it five times. I haven't touched it. Not once have I touched this shadow, and I think it's because I've been working on so many eyeshadows that... It has not made it into my makeup basket. I might see if I can pop that into a makeup basket very soon. I do have some shades that are similar where this one is a little more on the ready side. I do have some that favor orange a little bit more and I think that might be part of the conflict, but I 
think I can get five uses on it. So yeah, that needs to go in a basket very soon. And the last one that is continuing on is Two and a Half Men. And I brought in the Luxi Alpha Shadow. And my goal is to use this five times. I've used it once and I really like it. And I probably should have put it on today, but it was not in my makeup basket, so I didn't use it. Again, it needs to go in the makeup basket because I do not use products outside of my weekly makeup basket. So I, I really need to be strategic in what I'm putting in those baskets. And I've made good progress on my current makeup basket, but that doesn't really help the things that aren't in the basket. All right, so that is everything that is rolling out. That is everything that is continuing on. Now I need to bring in the next two episodes. The first episode that I'm bringing in for season six is The Third Man. In this particular episode, I'm not gonna go into the whole synopsis, but Dean is using Holy Fire to trap Balthazar, and that is how I have chosen my product based on that Holy Fire. So I have brought in the Pat McGrath Labs Eye Ecstasy Subversive palette and I'm bringing in the shade Crimson Fire. So Holy Fire, Crimson Fire, that is kind of how I'm bringing this in. It is this shade right here. I'm actually hoping this will pair nice with Mystery, which is the one in the ColourPop palette. I'll swatch them in just a second, but I, I'm hoping they will work together. If they do, then maybe I can, you know, Get them knocked out together because my goal is going to be using this five times. Okay, here are the swatches. This one is Crimson Fire and this is Mystery. Maybe not the best match, but I might be able to find a way to make that work, especially if I put a topper with it. I, I think I could probably make it work, but either way, five uses is what I want on that one. And for the last episode that I'm going to be rolling in, that one is called Weekend at Bobby's. If you watch the show at all, you know who Bobby is. I'm going off of the whole Bobby thing and I am bringing in Bobby Brown. And this is the Pot Rouge. It's for your lips and cheeks. It's in Velvet Plum. Looks like this. And my goal is going to be just to use this five times. If you haven't seen it before, I'm going to show it to you. It is a, it is a berry plum wine. I don't know how to explain it. It is, it's brown. This is it right here. So it kind of sort of goes with the color scheme here. I'll just have to play it by ear. If something works, it works. If it doesn't, then, you know, I know how to blend things to, you know, mix it up a little bit if I need to do that. So I'm very, very comfortable with where I am. I do think I can probably get something rolled out by the next update. I'm hoping that I can anyway because I have a bunch of things in just for five uses, some things in to finish. I always have six products, six episodes going at a time. Six is very significant in the, the show. That's why we picked that number. This one I do not think is gonna be done by the next update. And I don't, I don't think I can get the lotion done. If I use this exclusively, I still think it would be a struggle. I don't know. The Alpha from Luxy, I probably could if I really focused on getting those other four uses on it, I just have to make sure I put it in a basket. Then the five uses on Mystery, and then five uses each on the eyeshadow and the lip cheek combo. So wish me luck that I might have a rollout by the next update, that would be kind of nice. There is, I uh, believe, a spreadsheet of everyone that I know of that's doing this project down below. And if you want to join in, if you like Supernatural, if you like panning and you want to join in, by all means, there is no pressure to this because there is no end date. Just do your own thing. Start with the first six episodes, bring in your products and have at it. I do think we have someone, I can't remember right off the top of my head, that's only doing three at a time. I think it might be Caitlin. And um, that's fine too. If six doesn't work for you and three does or another number works better for you, that's fine. This is so no pressure. Unlike being a hunter, that's a lot of pressure. So definitely go check out everyone else. Join in if you want to, and that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.